<sighs> What's good, everybody? Welcome to Good, 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 Good Influences. I'm Matt, and there's Aaron, Mike, and Carly. And thank you for joining with us today. Today, our episode will be about social media. <laughs> See you next month. <laughs> oh, well, let's just hop right into it, guys. Well, geez. Yeah, geez. Was, what? Geez, what? Just hit it and quit it. Why I'm don't you? Like, I, I'm overwhelmed by. How about a little, a little flirt, a little loop flirtation? Yeah. Okay, yeah, a little foreplay. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. foreplay. God, just raw dogging it. Poor Patricia. I what? know. Oh my God, sticking Not it even right any in. Spit? Oh my God, <laughs> Aaron! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> little water bottle spray. <laughs> <laughs> do you do that to your cats? She's not Shane Dawson. <laughs> or that guy from do the horse's people restaurant. People spray your yeah. when your cat no, does yeah, something I know to what train them about. just yeah. to be like, uh-uh, hey, don't do though, that. The thing is, though, cats do not learn from negative reinforcement. Probably good for you to know since you now have a cat. They don't understand negative reinforcement. I never knew this. They'll just be scared of you. That's like dogs, too. Huh. Probably, yeah. So if, uh, like if, if your cat's you... doing something, you can't be like, stop doing that and like put them in another room. Like they're like, huh? No, that's the same as dogs. Okay, You're yeah. like not supposed to yell at yeah. them when they do yeah, something Yeah, positive wrong. reinforcement. Yeah. Do you ever give your cat treats or just food? <laughs> I you give him treats. I, I didn't know that cat treats were a thing. I thought it was Wait, only... you know what your stray little cat would love? What? At Trader Joe's, they sell... To go inside. <laughs> yeah, to be, in your, to be in your bed. No, Trader Joe's I'm has um, dried chicken for, like, dogs and cats. They have, like, a little pet section. Okay. And my cats are obsessed with it. I bet this cat will love it. Okay. So you Rick, should go get that. Rick D'Angelo. Also, like, the little crunchy treats for cats yeah, this... that now they, they, they go... Yeah. Because uh, I just never... I know you can train dogs with treats. Like, that's how you train a dog. And does that work with cats, too, to, like, get her... Uh, you can cats are hard train to train, cat. but yeah, you can. I feel like that wet food though. Once it pops, they're just like, oh, that's all <laughs> yeah. I need. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah, fancy feast. I don't know. I got whatever was at the Walgreens. We only would give our cat like wet food like once a week though. Well, like, I'm trying Sundays. to fatten this little fucker up because she was skinny. skin and bones when she came yeah. over. Yeah. She's yeah. gained a lot of weight since oh, you. I want to see your. Yeah. I'll have to stop by again because that was so cute. You could like put your whole hand around yeah. her body when when she walked in. It's confusing because she's I pretty sure a Maine Coon, so she looks bigger than she is. So fluffy. all the hair. So but then when you actually oh, feel yeah. her stomach, it's like I know it's so crazy. Like when we first got Paris, like you don't even realize it. Yeah. Until you see like pictures, like yes. obviously I'm like, oh she's so little, but then like you look at pictures of her and she was literally like spine. Yeah. yeah. Like a rail. It's yeah. So sad. I know. Oh, poor poor little babies. babies. Well, anyways. <laughs> Speaking of Skinny cats and dogs. <laughs> Why are cats so loved on the internet more than dogs are? Like, I feel I like. I think that's true. Uh, no, like cat things on the internet. That's like the. Huge. That was like the yeah, original like, internet culture was cat. Yeah, culture. but that's like stupid memes. Yeah, but that's like. The, it's the internet. I yeah. feel like more people that's have true. Instagram accounts for their dogs than yeah. their cats. I, and that's there's like true. Famous dog. That's true. Doug the pug. But yeah. pics of cats and cat content, I think, is circulated more on the internet than dog content. I don't know. I don't know. If I think I it agree. just depends on like your algorithm. I think like, now it's now it's pretty cats. evened up. But like pre Instagram, if you were to go on like Reddit in 2006, oh yeah, only cats. cat stuff. Yeah, yeah. Tumblr, cat stuff, MySpace. Oh. Yeah. I, I think like, it's because cats are just like, I don't know, funny little gremlins. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I see it. I mean, also, cats have been culturally in humans. I feel like they... Dogs are more commonly searched online, but cats are still more likely to go viral. Interesting. Mm. I think because yeah. cats are always doing something. Not always, but like they're kind of shitty. Cat. Like, like piano cat, the... but like cats are more likely to like knock off your shit off the table, and that's like memeable. Cats funny. are sleepier and usually calmer, thus easier to pho photograph. They're self groomers, so they're more naturally photogenic. They have faces that are more expressive. <laughs> this is like so serious. Photo like, <laughs> photogenic. I feel like yeah, my TikTok I feel like is pretty equal with like the dog videos I get served and the cat huh. videos I get served. Huh. I see a lot of dog videos. Yeah, I They're do too. They're so dogs funny. And cats. I saw them. one the other night that was this little like Frenchie. He had a doggy door to outside and he kept bringing the hose that for some reason was turned on inside <laughs> their house. Oh no. And he, he, it was funny. Like they showed the video of him going in and out, 
in <sighs> and out. And like, I have no idea. You know, like a long green hose. Like it always uh-huh. gets like tangled up. Yeah. yeah. Whenever you're trying to wash your car, you're like, God. Yeah. But for yeah. some reason it was not doing that. And they came home and there was like this much water flooded in their <laughs> oh, kitchen. Oh, so it was a video of the dog walking in and out with yeah. the hose in its mouth the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that little shit. And it's That's just so funny because it's so small and meaty. And then <laughs> they're like, what the fuck do you do? I get so scared for pet influencers because I'm like, you're gonna die. Yeah. Um, no, every time that Doug the Pug, if there's like a more serious looking post, I immediately go to the caption. I'm like, is he dead? Yeah. Is Doug the Pug still alive? I thought Doug yeah. the Pug died. No, no. no. He's kicking. I think that he's like pudgy 10. dog on TikTok died. Oh. There was the one that was like always no growling. Bones Day? Did oh, he die? He, oh, I don't think so. Oh. My, oh, oh. But, the, but the cute one that was like swimming in the pool and kept going oh, through the. Don't uh, even, I, I thought of that dog last night before I was going to bed. That's, that's, that's so, so well, sad. All right. That died. Yeah. And, and like pretty. I think it was like a traumatic thing. Like something happened to his back, I think. Yeah, and then they had to like... so sad. It's such a cute dog. Yeah. I feel like that's not as popular anymore either. Is people following dogs on that they don't... I have stopped. <laughs> I'm not following most, any animals. Most of the time, it's like, like it was is a it novelty. the pet that's actually entertaining or it's the owner usually like works in marketing and they're just applying <laughs> like a really great uh, brand strategy yeah. to the dog that's making it like yeah. very popular. Yeah, Unless, I mean, but then if it's the pet, it usually has some like deformity that's making it popular. <laughs> like like the dog with the tongue sticking out. Grump, tuna. Oh, tuna. Tuna. So tuna. It's just grumpy his cat. Tongue. Grumpy but, cat. Yeah, but I've met grumpy cat before. You Ooh. have? Yeah, at a Mashable event. Grumpy it's, cat is no longer with us. Though. No, I don't think so. Was yeah. grumpy right. cat grumpy? It was exactly what you thought it was. And I'm just like, it, it kind of looked like like a circus animal where it's just like, you could just tell that this thing has been like, why am I alive? Yeah, pushed around all around It just the world. photographed and like... The hell, yeah. if a pet makes you that much money and you don't have to... I, I it's like say, a child actor you don't have to put money away for. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, just I've always thought too, like if you have an account like Doug the Pug, they should start bringing in a new pug. Before like introduce? It, yeah, like... Oh, yeah, yes. like That's like, like Harlow and Sage. Oh yeah, I died. I know. Like especially because that's so a, there's cute. a big business in that mm-hmm. where like the pet industry is. The pet should be taxed like if, <laughs> I, at a certain <laughs> point. If, it's, like, if, it, if an animal is bringing in enough income, it's like ten ninety nine. The animal has she to has pay a social taxes. Social security card. <laughs> <laughs> they get audited. <laughs> is that no more kibble? Is that unethical? I don't know. Like, Dog jail. It's, like, <laughs> it's an well, animal. The owner is getting the money, so the owner's getting taxed. Yeah, yeah we, but they're using this animal it's like a black mirror episode like replacing the animal as it dot you know what i mean i and watched a documentary where this woman she was like millionaire billionaire status she left everything or maybe it was he left everything to the dog no what does that mean, yeah, and what then, does that mean? It, like they would get a new dog and then it would go to that dog if like they had to like replace it if i was in this woman's life there's a I'd documentary so about it yeah, that's so upsetting what the heck is it a call grandma no, i like, have to pay bills and the, like they're so rich that the dog has like a whole t- a chef like a an assistant, like it's yeah, I think horses. that does can kind of make but, sense in the world of also horses. You oh, horses are like what is that? Called? I think horses can be placed as like almost like as ways of a trust, or it's its own business is maintaining a horse because a horse has to have employees. You have to have a groomer. Mm-hmm. No, um, but she's saying that the, the trust is goes into the name of the Gunther's dog. Millions is the name of the documentary. It says the bizarre story of the canine who became the world's richest dog when his doting (laughs) owner, Countess Carlotta Liebenstein. Oh, so they were Jewish. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I think she was foreign. Okay. Um, Died and left her multi-million fortune has been captured in a new Netflix documentary series, Gunther's Millions. But it's really crazy because like all the people she put in charge of certain things, like the accountant, the lawyer, they all do like shady things where they like rent a yacht for a week and they're oh. like, well, Gunther needs to take a picture on the yacht. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like... It's a great like, way to do a write-off no, also. No, it's yeah. great. Like watching the documentary, I was like, this it's is good documentary. unhinged. Yeah, okay. it was just like so wild because I was like, these people are like taking advantage of this dog. <laughs> yeah, this dog's millions. Yeah. <laughs> And that's like, they like make you realize that they're like, okay, well, this is so ridiculous. And these people who are like his like people looking out for him that she put in charge are like not actually doing that. You could legally do that. Like my estate goes to my cats. Yeah. Like, sorry. That's what she did. Whoa. And it goes to no human. No, I don't know how that's like what kind of contract went to the person. And then there's like two people that it's like a legal guardian. I think type of situation. Sounds like a Disney movie or something. <laughs> yeah, 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, but yeah. it's like a little like bark check. Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Did Airbud ever go pro in in the oh. Airbud movies? It was just high school basketball circuit. Like I love the someone came up with a TikTok of like the coach of the team that lost to Airbud. You lost to a fucking dog. Yeah, you guys are professionals. Like we've been practicing for months. How really do you lose good. to a dog? Have you guys seen the TikTok lives where people are like? Doing that weird thing. And the AI like, thing, yeah. Yeah, the AI what? thing. AI, what? It'll basically be them doing a little motion over and over As again. As if like a sim. And anytime they get a donation, anytime you give someone on TikTok, it's like you send them a flower or you send them a, a crown bear. Or Is it like actual crown. money? Yeah. yeah. But it's only like cents usually. Oh, okay. But they'll be like, mm, yum. Thank you for the donut. Thank you for the donut. Thank you for the donut. Thank you for the bear. Thank you yes. for the bear. Thank oh, you for the bear. Yes, I've seen it. And people are sitting there making like five grand an hour oh my God. on there. Danny did it as a joke. Her friend was over. I was watching it. It was really funny. She was like trying to do it, but it was hilarious. She made like a hundred bucks or something. Just doing like that. Every live on TikTok now if is you go some to girl going scroll like this. lives, it'll be like every other live. And they just act like an AI character and people are for some reason I tipping these I, people. I could find one right now. It's Huh? It is. It feels yeah, like the end I've of humanity. Seen these, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like the end of society. Like, like I can't everyone, stand. Oh wait, go on. It's like when everyone started just like this uploading to one. Snapchat when they were giving away like hundreds of thousands yes. of dollars a day. Yes. Yeah. I can't like the first one. stand the ones where somebody oh. is like. Have you ever seen someone who's like a bowl full of like maggots <gasps> or like meat? Or, or, or like, Matt, uh, what's <laughs> like for you, pig, bro? <laughs> Muddy people will know exactly that what I'm is. talking about. Or it's a bowl. <laughs> Full of mealworms. You know, like mealworms? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. And so they, they'll have a bowl of it, and it looks like they're about to eat it, or they've been eating it, but they never get around to fucking eating it. So uh, people yeah. tune in and waiting for oh, this for person, longer. and they'll, like, scoop a thing, and then they'll look at the chat, and they're like, oh, thank you so much for the donation. Anyways, guys, and uh, they'll just sit there teasing you. Oh. Or, I hate, do you watch the eggshell one where the guy oh, takes yeah. off the egg? That always yeah. comes on. And I don't he never them. gets down to the fucking bottom or it just takes <laughs> forever. That is one of the weirdest places on the internet is TikTok Live. It yeah, is. Whatever they come up, I just... I, it is so, if you hit that and then start scrolling through, you will see some of the yeah. weird, there's people just like sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, can you show it to me? But oh, they, uh, they're find, getting find a better one. That one's really yeah, fucking weird. weird. I think they're getting rid of more people begging though. But the begging ones make me very uncomfortable. Begging, what are begging? Matt. Yeah, what? it'll be like a foreign country. <laughs> Whoa, do you guys not get no. what I get? No. no. People are like, please, please send us money. Look, it looks like they're what? out in some third world the first country. One that up. Please, please. They just beg. Oh, okay, this is weird. It's so weird, and they're I'm... talking like AI people. They're like, "Thank you for the donation." There's one girl who Thank like you. blew up doing yeah. it. Yeah, and you oh, probably recognize right. like a trend. Yeah, you know what? I've only gone live like two or three times. Like I feel like in my entire internet career. Yeah, you never go uh, live. Like on al across on all any social platform. media. Uh, well, I guess I've done like live Q and As for like unfiltered Patreon, but like me personally, getting off, I just don't like sitting there and I don't know interacting because like yeah when I see that there's like a thousand people I'm like my god that is a thousand people who are sitting here watching this <laughs> hopefully they are entertained yeah. like I, I think know. it's and because some people just sit there so casually with there's like a thousand people and it's this weird kind of I don't know dynamic where I don't want to feel like I'm too comfortable like I don't give a fuck these people are watching me I yeah. don't know how to explain I think it. it's fun but I don't really do it that often it's great to be a guest on someone else's live stream. Yeah. Like when Adam goes live on Twitch, I'll just pop in and like say hi to people. Or when Sam will go live, it's like, if it's not your responsibility, it's a little easier to just be like, hey, what's going on? Yeah. But it is the live thing on TikTok is like, it's so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> just like, what, who, wh what I think is like, how do these people afford rent when you like, your life is this like weird where you're just like, I don't know, you're doing this for six hours a day? That is... They make a ton of money. I, I mean, I know that now, but not everyone's making that much money. I watch yeah. speed, speed runs, though. Like, Super Mario speed runs, like someone trying to play the game over That's and cool. over. But, dude, they've been playing it every day for months. And I'm like, how does this person not go nuts playing a video game over and over and over again? Oh, I don't know. I don't never watch that. Oh, yeah. Do you consider Tumblr to be social media? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. MySpace? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You don't? No, Tumblr I feel like is like Tumblr's entertainment. Like the, well, I feel like so many people formed communities on Tumblr. You post something and you reshare it across I social guess, groups and I circles. guess, I guess. Is Reddit social media? Yes. I think. You're socialized. Oh, you, well, yes, you're talking. It's a forum. A huh. forum is a form of social media. I think of yeah. social media as like if you have a 
profile with your name and picture that you post things on. I think the word social is open to interacting and talking, socializing in a forum, which is what Reddit is, is, you know, an open forum, a discussion that is a form of socializing in its an online forum. So what about like TripAdvisor? Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Truly Lightly Fantastic. I know today's show has been hilarious. It's probably been your favorite podcast of all time, let's be honest. Um, it's been cute, it's been insightful, and it's been fantastic. And some might even say lightly fantastic. <laughs> Truly is made with a hint of real fruit juice for a whole lot of refreshment. I think Truly's are so refreshing, especially when it's hot out. If you're in LA right now, we're in a heat wave, could really use a Truly next to a pool, please. That would be nice. Yes, thank you. At just 100 calories and one gram of sugar, it is super light and endlessly drinkable. Like I said, it's not super filling. It's really refreshing and it's the best when you're just like chilling with your friends or, you know, your family's in town. It truly is so light. It doesn't feel like you're drinking a whole can of something. You know what I mean? There's a flavor for every occasion, even when Mike knocks over our third camera and almost sabotages the whole podcast episode, but it's fine. But they have so many different flavors. There's definitely something for you. They have like a berry mix pack, a citrus mix pack, a margarita mix pack, which hello, need to try that one. A punch mix pack, vodka soda classic pack. I mean, there's so many different ones. You're bound to find something that you will like um, with Truly. Try to Truly Hard Seltzer today and see what the Lightly Fantastic Life is all about. Please drink responsibly. I could say that's not social media. No. <laughs> that's a review. That's a review website. Well, well they're so they're talking. I'm going yep. based off of his. That's definition. what I'm saying. I, profiles. I, like to me, there's like five. There's only like five things that are social media. It's MySpace, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and, and maybe and maybe Threads. YouTube. Like I don't even know if YouTube is considered social media. Like YouTube is a video platform. They're social media. If someone's a big YouTuber, they're a social media star, you know? I don't know. I feel like YouTube is its own. I think you have a big following on social media. Oh. Like I would say YouTube, if you have a social media, if someone says, oh, they have a big following on social media, my mind goes Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Okay. And not YouTube. Well, LinkedIn now. LinkedIn is definitely becoming social yeah, media. Yeah, I some people is. in college now who are LinkedIn famous. Dude, like, it's so what? weird. We used to make jokes about that. What no. does that mean? They have like a ton of jobs. They can make, they'll be like, hey, the no. most jobs ever. Yeah, they'll what? post out on LinkedIn, hey guys, here are five great tips for like cold emailing people and stuff like that. And then they'll you become... can post videos on there? Yeah, yeah. it's like oh. LinkedIn influencers. Yeah, there's a girl oh, in here. I was like, Bond, do... can I get verified? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. People, you become like a thought leader in your space and you, people will reshare your article. That's there's comments underneath it. I think Whoa. we sound a little, because we're not in that. Like, yeah. No, this is very normal. normal. But a lot of norm people. This is no, so normal. I, don't, I think it's just like, yeah, well, I was just like trying to find somebody and it brought me to a LinkedIn. Oh, and yeah. so then I was like, I sent it to my corporate friends and I was like, Hey, can someone with a LinkedIn please like screenshot this for me so I can see this information because I don't have one. Yeah, you don't have a LinkedIn. LinkedIn. It... No, why would I have a LinkedIn? <laughs> I don't know. Matt has a LinkedIn. Yeah, I still have a LinkedIn. But you also like, ha did you have it when you had your old job? Mm -hmm. But LinkedIn though, doesn't it tell the other person that you yes. viewed their profile? Yeah, yes. but you can turn that off. I'm a link. Okay, I need I to turn that off. That I'm day. a LinkedIn like creep sometimes, or I'm just very <laughs> curious. I'm like. What is that person from college doing? Like, yeah. what, are, what are they up to? I'm you just... gotta Google their name and then open incognito and then plug it in, and then you can Sometimes see. Sometimes like... I feel like they hide it though. You can't read it on oh. incognito. Oh my god, I have such a funny story. I remember I went to Jones on Third like years ago. It was when I was single, and someone working there I thought was really cute. So I was trying to find him on social media. I was like trying to. I went through like jones on third instagram everything and then i found somehow i found him on linkedin and it must have like alerted him that i saw his profile and then he followed me on instagram cool. like right oh after my God, that. that would be such a great story to tell your kids did he ever dm you or anything no because i was like this is so fucking weird I, I wasn't like that invested i was just like who is this person that she, went on, she, she went, went on linkedin she went on instagram all their back. posts have been Joints ever since. Yeah. He, he endorsed her PowerPoint <laughs> skills. She endorsed I wonder if he that. still works oh. there. That'd be interesting. But yeah, we could ask him. Yeah, but like, what? Why did you follow me? He's like, why did you look at my what LinkedIn? If, what if we started going ham on LinkedIn about this podcast? Like, <laughs> honestly, it's not. I mean, we don't talk about what people would want to talk what about. Is but your link, can you pull up your LinkedIn? Mine? It's like a photo from like 2012, I think. Like, do you oh, have no, like it's my LinkedIn? Host I have of good influences. <laughs> no, oh. I it still Ugh, says no. you're like an ad exec at oh. MediaCom no, or whatever. It? We fixed it. Did, Did we? we? 
Oh my, 242 people are looking at my profile right now. Right no, now? Oh my god. I was like, huh? <laughs> what does it look like? It's just this. Uh, your little picture? I know, it's like my headshots from Collab. You can get verified. <laughs> you can. It says verify for free. Adding a verification helps boost your profile's authenticity. Oh, but that's just like to prove that you're not a bot. It's not like Instagram clout. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, still. how do I get verified on <laughs> LinkedIn? You have to pay for it. Like, no. Twitter. Wow. Look at all your jobs. 12 jobs. Yeah. Damn. What was the last, what's the most recent one? Content creator. Oh, you did update. Yeah, but you, mm -hmm. I had like, I was like a member at Collab and you were like, oh, delete yeah. that. <laughs> oh, why? I don't know. Because you're not, a, you don't work for Collab. I know I don't work for Collab. Oh. I guess it was just, well, I think it was before I had my LLC. I was just, I felt like I needed to be as a creator tied to <laughs> mm -hmm. an agency or something. Yeah. Like that. I haven't updated mine in like five years. Let's let's start going ham. Let's have a LinkedIn party. We can all. <laughs> oh, I can make one. Just improve. Like, it, you, what would, that's an interesting thing for you to like, because they. Have, I definitely had one. But you you're gonna have to plug in like skills and resume and work experience. <laughs> Zero. No, but you come Zero up with stuff. I don't have you're skills. great on Excel. Yeah. I'll endorse you oh. in Excel. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron has, been amazed, has taken our podcast to the next level with Excel. I'm always looking, but you can also like write, you can say like, uh, Matt King left a comment. Oh, when I worked with Aaron at, you know, P Price Waterhouse wow. Coopers, she was always on time, efficient, blah, blah, blah. I'm always waiting to just see some fucking messy shit. Like Deborah, when we worked together, she slept with my husband, and you should never like. I, there's no, there's oh, no messiness you know, on LinkedIn. There must be some Reddit that oh, like, like has messy like LinkedIn. messy LinkedIn. Oh, there are, no, there are ones. Yeah, messy LinkedIn. LinkedIn. No, it's um. Oh god, it's like cringe LinkedIn yes. people who are like the most hardcore virtue signaling like people who will post like a five paragraph LinkedIn thing. cringe. Oh, when I first joined this position, I knew that this was going to be an incredible t challenge to take on. Oh. But I buckled down, pulled up, <laughs> we pulled the company up by our bootstraps, and sure enough, we've been able to excel in every single quarter. It's been an honor and a privilege oh, to work yeah. on. Like, There's a whole just... subreddit of <gasps> LinkedIn cringe. Yes. Yes. Oh man. Oh my! Stay tuned. I, I had a friend of mine that I went to, I grew up with, who's been on it a few <laughs> times, and some people will like post it, going, "Don't you know this guy?" Oh my <laughs> god! Oh, because it posts with their names and everything. Yeah, and there's like drama there too. When you're looking for a job, you have to like talk to recruiters. God, we sound like idiots to everyone who has real jobs, but <laughs> <laughs> like, because you can't like change your job title while you like, if you've applied for a new job and you get the job, you wait to change your LinkedIn until like you're at the new job for like I think two or three months oh. because there's like a chance that you might that the jobs don't actually stick and then you don't oh. want your old company to oh. see that you were looking and it was like there's a whole like culture Way to do it and etiquette for working on LinkedIn too and there's LinkedIn so coaches people, just the people on LinkedIn who like over embellish what they're working on yeah. for me if I was a it. recruiter I would be like I don't want to hire you. You sound like you were so full of yourself. <laughs> if you were, you know what's cool you is an employee be, who actually keep it short and simple. <laughs> tell me what you did in one sentence. Like I was able to improve sales by seventy five percent in this quarter. Boom, that's what I hear. I don't want to hear this like, like the sob story. Who's you don't that? utilize key metrics to impose newfound yes. systems to incorporate knowledge and expertise. Like, okay. Just, just tell me what you did. Yeah. I don't want this nutball who's just so, <laughs> so, so much grandiosity towards himself in a workplace. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, not great time management skills. You think people have that long to read? Uh, yeah. And there, there are LinkedIn people you can pay to help clean up your LinkedIn too, like job coaches who will. AI. Like, I mean, AI probably could do it now really well, but if you, it used to be you would just hire someone to like help you with your resume, but just imagine no, someone be like, in. let's meet in a new headshot. This is not, this is not working like, out for have you. Have you seen those AI things where you can just put it in your AI and it'll give yeah. you tons of like LinkedIn professional photos of yourself? Oh, yeah, it's yes. Great. I've seen those. I've seen TikToks of people post their like LinkedIn oh, AI I photos. And they look snatched. It's like, it's yo, it, it, like the lighting is perfect. They clean up your face. It's like, but Business it looks like a headshot, outfits. and they put an outfit on you. It's so <laughs> sick. You should do, have you done any OnlyFans AI shoots yet? No. Oh, that'd be interesting. What, what program would I use? I don't know. I don't know if they would allow. About... They might flag like nudity on the on the app. Oh, on AI. I feel, it's like, worth trying. I feel like there are some. You're telling me there's no AI nudity. App? There was a there was a company that reached out about sponsoring a creator I work with that does AI girlfriends 
like chat GPT where you like have a girlfriend that you type to. Well, she does that on Snapchat. <laughs> I know. I talk to me. I, I think that's great. I think that's. I don't know. And there's like different characters. It's like sad. Her? It's sad, but I'd rather like that movie. Her. Kind of, yeah. No, and it's, it's like different. It's like different characters. So it's like, do you want to pick your girlfriend? Is it the teacher that's lonely and will do anything? Wait, that was a website. Was yeah. that with you? Or maybe it was like in Omaha. I remember there was a website and it was like, you could have a boyfriend or girlfriend and you sign up and yeah. you can talk to them. Have you heard about those uh, apps though where you can uh, like, it's someone will be your, how would I say it? They act as boyfriend for you. So text my girlfriend around 1230 every day. Hey, love you. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> oh, it's like, like automations. Auto, yes. auto text your girlfriend. Oh so she always Can thinks like, he's like... thinking of me and like, it's just fake texting but what for if, you. What if, okay, say I had that. What if I like texted Nolan like, Hey, I'm a little pissed off. You didn't take out the trash when I asked you to. Yeah, and then I was like, hey, hope you're having a good day. Love you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. I don't know if it's question. like that. It just does, I don't know, it times out things so you don't have to forget to text yeah. your girlfriend. I think that's I a little weird, use. though. Yeah. I, don't... I think it's very 2012 app kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Like automations. Yeah. yeah. That's really funny, though. Yeah. It just got like a little bit fucked up. You're, you like already broke up, but then forgot to turn it off. <laughs> so has this been still fake the whole time? He keeps texting me, even though I dumped him. I know, and I think if I was receiving those, I'd be like, "Well, I know it's fake." Yeah, it like pissed me off a little bit. Yeah, like right. you can't really it just also text seems, me. It seems so animated. If like I realize it's the same time every day, the exact <laughs> yeah. same text message. <laughs> yeah, like I have a friend, and this guy texts her every day, like, "Hi, hope you're having a good day," and like she's just like, "It's just like annoying." <laughs> Yeah, oh. that's just like think think about me. Remember me? Yeah. Uh, do you think that is out of line to Yes, do not automate your fucking relationship. No, oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's, <laughs> no, that's not what fine. I'm saying. Not what I'm saying. Sometimes I like there's people who I think of them and I'm like, oh, I just want to tell that person I'm thinking of them and I hope they're doing oh like God, well. No, that's, not no, that's good. But I always think if someone's sending it to me that it's like, what do they want? Like I think uh, it's like they're I think putting it's just their foot your in the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, people love to hear about. I know. I heard people... about that on some podcast where someone goes, I love getting those types of texts from people, and I try to send those to people, and I'm like, I want to start doing that, but then I always feel like I'm coming off like a disingenuine by reaching out to someone being, hey, thinking of you, send in love. I think that's nice. Someone I haven't talked to in a while texted me yesterday, was like, how are you doing? And I was like, I don't want to have this conversation. Oh, yeah. I hate that. I'm like, why? No. They're just bored. Well, like, I, no, know, I, know, I know, Aaron. Well. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. No. What? Yeah, yeah, no. How Annoyed, many, that's how I'm doing How yeah. many friends like, can you call up and just chat with them, and they're fine that you called them and you guys can just chat? Probably uh, a good two. amount. So two. many. For oh, you, I can talk two. on the phone for like a long time with, and my brother, but... Th this is me every time. Actually, this is me every time Matt calls. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> same, okay, honestly, okay. same. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm also like not a huge phone talker though. I really sometimes when I'm driving, it actually makes the drives go by faster. Yeah. But I never do it. That's I do. When Some I call, people like, who my love talking home. on the phone when they drive, I hate that. I think it depends. Like yesterday, I did it. I had to drive to Santa Monica, and I was like, "Oh, I haven't talked to my best friend in a little on the phone, so I'm going to call her." And then spent the whole time just like, chatting. "How how did you get to the point in the conversation where you said I'm just driving and I wanted to talk? Is that what you just say?" Like, yeah, she's where like, you... "What's up?" And I was like, "Nothing. I'm on my way to Britney's. I just wanted to call and like check in, okay, and cool. like see how because I, was... I like know stuff that she was doing and I haven't talked to her about. And I'm like, "How is this? How is that?" I need to go see a therapist because I'm thinking say, yeah. I, I, am, I think I am already. wasting everyone's time. Like yeah, or that. Yeah. <laughs> That no, I call not. them and they'd be like, I'm in the middle of something. What you just call me <laughs> to fucking chat, Matt? Get a fucking life. Like if they answer, you'd be like, Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing. Oh, I'm driving to uh, Santa Monica. Figured I'd just catch up with you. Oh, yeah. I can't right now. I actually have to run and go. All right, yeah. well, I'll talk to you later. No, I, I mean, and I called work. her and then she's like, Hey, I'm still at work, but I'll call you back later. Yeah, and I'm like, Okay, dude. We and then, like, if I, yeah, yeah. Shit, this, that's this, bad. I felt the anxiety of you I being know. like, well, if I just I'm anxious called? now. Are you, do you, are you still in, in therapy? <laughs> I, yeah. How have you it? ever started oh, a chat with, with someone? Have you ever started a chat with someone, though, on the phone, and you think it's going to be really great, and then five, ten minutes in, you're like, eh, I don't want to talk to this person <laughs> anymore. And you're like, well, you know what? Uh, actually, I'm going through the hell right now. I got to go. So, the best, sometimes. The best <laughs> thing, I, I know other people come up with this, too, but my favorite phrase is, all right, well, I'll let you go. Uh, I'm going to oh. get back to this. And you say, I'm going to let you go versus yes. like, 
I'm going to hang up now because I'm done with this conversation. Yeah, you that's make it like you're doing them a favor. It is my favorite social well, like act. I well, have a, I'll let you go. I have a tab in my TikTok uh, uh, <laughs> favorites collections. No, it's just conversation tips. Oh, <laughs> like You don't need conversation what? tips, I know, dude. but sometimes, I know you're so okay, good at here's my thing. I just file, like I'll have recipes, health, this, fitness, profound things. But if I realize that before I'm going to bed, and I still want to be on TikTok, instead of trusting the feed, I'll just mm. go back and refamiliarize myself with stuff that I already like. And then hopefully that stuff will maybe ingrain better in my head. TikTok than getting, University over here. Yeah. Getting sucked back into just some new stimulating piece of content that will... That is my favorite thing about TikTok is like, it's all fun and games, but then sometimes there'll be something that pops up and you're like, oh, I did not know yeah. that. Or and like, then I go down it's from a therapist hole. talking or it's from a doctor that's like, things I wouldn't do blah 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 i will say if someone just calls me with like nothing to talk about that's very annoying that is the <laughs> work when they just sit in silence dude yeah, yeah. Like, you're, in silence. You're, like, you're just like calling to or to like they'll they'll be on facetime words. and you can just see that they're like looking at instagram while they're on facetime with yeah. you and you see that in their eyes and i'm just like why did i you... don't want to sit here yeah and, well living dying <laughs> well, my life is ending one minute at a time watching you scroll on instagram yeah yeah if it, it, it's always like or it'll be before like a party or something like the person hits you up like oh hey are you going to the party <laughs> awesome and you're sitting there giving them your full attention and they're just like not giving a shit yeah like, i'm like don't leave me on your fucking counter oh, yeah, no, and i'm oh, yeah, giving yeah. you all my attention uh, just on my counter yeah just like what the fuck is that mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes though that like like my best friend she'll be like cooking but talking to me on FaceTime and That's like, fine. I'm fine with that. Cooking is fine but it's when you're just rotting away on <laughs> yeah. Instagram. But if it was like, like us like we see each other every day it's like, like you uh -huh. don't want to be no, totally. on my counter like I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah that's ugh. I do miss musically. I'm kidding. Actually, oh, I, was like, I was like, I literally was like, you used I never, I never had that app. Music but I remember when TikTok came out that they were doing brand deals with creators to yeah. promote too, TikTok. Uh, which is insane. Insane. Like, but we're, hey, it worked. <laughs> yeah, I guess it did work. Here we are. Do you and think TikTok's going to get banned? I don't think so. I think I it's like just it's like past. When is yeah. this going to like be revisited? Pro never. It's all just Is news. it still banned in Montana? Isn't it going to be banned in by Minnesota, next year? Minnesota, I thought. Or maybe it's Montana. I think it's starting like January. Minnesota, of 2020. they wouldn't do that to the fine people of Minnesota. <laughs> what about Montana? I actually do miss Facebook. There is nothing like it, and it was actually to come me, back, man. I'm on it every day. Are you actually? Yeah, really? I go but, on Facebook it's still, every day. Uh, the, it's all the too icons, depressing, and like all the adults are so stupid. Oh no, you it's, gotta join the group. The Facebook groups is where it's no, but at. I, like what Facebook was originally. Yeah, where like it was basically a place to post. Thoughts, yeah. links, Pictures. and photos, and that's it. And it's only to your friends. Like, it's a private, there's yeah. nothing like that anymore. Yeah. Either it's like an influencer platform, or it's public, or it's like... Or it's Facebook. So. But I, I mean, really it's everybody it. who's kind of like, I know in my own life. Like, I'm not friends for, with you well, on Facebook. For us, it's like influencers. Our Instagram feed is friends with like a lot of creators. Like, it's not truly like the people that we know and like kind of do matter in our own I don't lives. think that's true for me. Yeah, I don't really follow oh, people I don't know. you keep it pretty real? Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to like be a creator supporting another creator, kind of like a friendship kind of thing. I feel like there's a lot of that on like my own Instagram where I'm like, yeah, but honestly, this is a creator I've now known for five years and I've not seen this person in person, but I'll, as a creator, I'm going to support them. But I'm saying you're I just not following be... like the Dwayne Johnson on Instagram yeah. or like Dua Lipa <laughs> and you're like, oh, yes. Yeah, but sometimes I just want to like see my friends and their babies that they're having and just it's my I feel true like the people who post IRL on Facebook friends. though is just like Yeah, it's just like the it's dark. Yeah. I love yeah. scrolling Facebook. It's so fun. But yes. that's what I, but like you it's a it's scroll just like it people ironically. Being like, this person died. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm saying I would like if we were all if there was a Facebook that like all of us were on that They just would be need my to ban parents like the yeah. second adults started using it is when it went downhill for real <laughs> like, yeah. once they got logins is when it got bad like all we have it like to express is basically stories and those disappear like i was i was doing a finding like old <laughs> photos for a gift for someone and i was like wow i used to post so much like sick shit on facebook all like, the time weird videos that i would love for like i would love to share with you or like a funny thing that i think you guys would like but like you can't po you can't share things anywhere like, what are you going to make a link on an Instagram story? Oh, guys, I found something funny. Check this out. Like, no chance. But Facebook is like, mm -hmm. I would love to make a Facebook yeah. for, like, my friends. Maybe we should all start over. <laughs> make our own accounts. Mm -hmm. 
There's just so much garbage on there now. Yeah. They should do it where it's like if you didn't have account an account pre two thousand seven. You're out. Yeah. <laughs> well it used to be I remember Facebook or yeah, Facebook was just like college. Yeah. And all the Which icons. Was such a good are, idea. Like the icons so that they have. They're so cheesy. Oh, it looks like it's like Windows and yeah. like Android and weird. <laughs> oh, and yeah, yeah. Like the whole look of Facebook just feels like it's gonna give me a computer virus or yeah. something. Like no, actually. I don't know. I think you're missing out. And Facebook half is of the stuff popping. that people post is just like fake. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And so it, they most likely will. Give Queen you Elizabeth is still alive, having. <laughs> Bad breakfast with Michael Jackson in Jamaica. I'm like, dude, no. That's what I posted on Instagram. Oh, okay, God. Don't get oh Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a big group girl on Facebook. I love well, a Facebook group. I gotta join some of your groups. I'm on like Christmas Village groups. Yeah, just groups. stuff like that. Brooke, I'm Brooke and Connor. Their podcast I'm an admin on. Oh, nice, mm-hmm. nice. I should join that group. It's pretty good. Um, I feel like I've talked about it. It's still like on the Panera one, which is like dramatic and... You know, stuff is always going on in the Panera group chat. <laughs> I'm in the 12 foot skeleton group. I'm in a Are We Dating the Same Man, which is like amazing. I Whoa, love that one. Oh, like yeah. small. T- but how, what in what town? <laughs> uh, there's Am I Dating the Same Man, Los Angeles? So people will upload like a sometimes it's like a photo of a room and it's like, is this anyone's significant other's room? <gasps> I just like hooked up and I'm not sure. That's or, or it'll be like somebody's experience from a dating app and saying like this man was very creepy with me like blah 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 or and whatever. they think that he has somebody else in their lives so maybe or it's women just like it's like girls but, who are in a guy's room and they're like this i feel like there's a girlfriend that this guy has crazy and then they'll post the photo <laughs> I would of the feel guy's room so violated if someone came into like my space took a picture of my room and posted it to how many people yeah that's yeah. Psychotic. Uh, that's fucking psychotic there but the a, crazy thing is when someone's like that's my boyfriend <laughs> no that is it crazy happen? oh yeah oh yeah there's like that's... tiktoks about it too like is this anyone's man's because they'll like see women's shampoo or something in the in the shower and be like, oh, wait, shit. Or like they'll no, see no. a woman's product in the bathroom and they're like, why is there a woman's product here? Yeah. This is like, this I lives here. I can't imagine how, how, and like why somebody would like cheat like that too. I know. Like that's crazy, the rush that like I, it's people insane. do that. Especially if you're at that point where your stuff is in their bathroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right? Shampoo and soap and everything. But... Did you see that Hulu documentary called like The Ideal Husband or The Perfect Husband and how this woman found out that her husband was like, a serial cheater. Oh no! Like oh, no. with it sounds juicy. tons and tons. It's a tons. documentary. Yeah, it's on Hulu. Oh. It's, but it's kind of like one of those like ABC ones where you're like, get to the point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like a news segment. Yeah, vibe. it's like we were just so in love. It was <laughs> like, college. We know. We, we know. Met, and then like oh. they keep going. Yeah. They're just like uh. extending. Well, sometimes it. you gotta know the backstory to really get the, yeah. the juice of it all and like yeah. why it's juicy. Yeah, but whoa, that's wild. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy one. Caro's on it too. She'll like send me stuff she sees, and she'll be like, "This is fucking crazy." Oh my god! But does every like, post like? There's that one Facebook group that's like LA, and it's like all girls. I forget what it's called, but I feel I people will like send me stuff, and I'm like, this seems toxic as hell. What is it? I don't know what it's called, but it's yeah. like I think it's called like Girls Night Out or something. It like doesn't there's anything healthy or educational no. or constructive on Facebook. Like not and everything is just poison and popcorn yeah. <laughs> and like yeah. drama. Like when have you ever That's why it's fun. I know, but th- I but I'm saying I'm just missing when know, Facebook know, was like Oh, like here's a James Brown and Michael Jackson video from totally. 1960 that and I would love to share. Remember with how everyone would freak out when the layout would change? Oh, yeah. Like, like, oh, bring, bring it back. Yeah. Bring it back. Yeah. Like, Mark Zuckerberg this group to yeah. bring back the old Facebook. And like the status updates used to say like Carly and Contro is. Yes. And then you'd have to type it. Wouldn't be like. Right. You. I don't know. It I would just say what what's on your mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that was a big change. Or when people would like write, I do not consent to having my whatever, whatever, like this oh, start. Know, and copy and paste that. this, my and you'll yeah, start seeing your time. real friends. Yeah. yeah. That's where I'm like, you guys are idiots. Um, yeah, <laughs> no. I know. I'm like, you think Yeah. Grown adults. It's so chain cringe. mail. Yeah. Oh, it's man. chain mail. It's funny, too, because like I Dumb never dumbs. go on Facebook. and Same. Like, my parents live on it. Yeah. Like I feel like so, <laughs> Your parents are gross. so many adults just live on Facebook because that's how they communicate with one another. But like we're using different things. And like my mom will be like, oh, you didn't see what I posted? And I'm like, no, I don't go. I feel like Facebook. I've been on Facebook once a year, every year for the past 
five years. You want to talk screen time about Facebook? Oh my is that god! One of your biggest? Up. I bet it's probably my. I'm on Facebook more than Instagram. Do you have the <laughs> Facebook app on your phone? I do. Well, I do. What? Oh yeah, let's do our How screen do times do again. Um, I don't remember. Oh god! How I, do you do wait, I was just on vacation. I was, I was just traveling a lot on an airplane. What does that so. have to do with anything? Oh no! Oh, oh, well, screen I feel time. Like screen time. But Oof. you can do it for individual apps. Where is screen time? Oh, there it is. Yeah, if you go yeah. to oh, see app all limits. activity settings. What do you press after settings? Um, screen time. See all activity. Jesus. I Ooh. Don't have that. Oh, I'm about to vomit. What oh, is it's, yours? it's just underneath the top. Daily Aaron. average. Right here. No, yeah, but I wanted to see for each app. But I was just traveling. And then you scroll so... down. It doesn't have it for you? No. Carly, what's your daily average on right now? Okay, oh, yeah. so I watched our Claudia episode last night because I didn't want to like, you know, we didn't want to say the same thing again. And my daily average during the Claudia episode was like five hours or something. Right now it says eight hours, 24 minutes. Seven hours, 26 minutes. Five is that 11. per day? That was like yours last time too. Yeah, what's yeah. yours, Mike? This, there's no way this is per day. And I will tell it's you, daily, I, daily average. average. I say I normally spend like two hours a night on TikTok falling asleep. Well, sometimes Between I sleep like with like something on like... So yeah, that's yeah, probably why yeah. I can't. Facebook or... Uh, wait, what does your TikTok one say? TikTok says... Wait, daily average, 27 hours. <laughs> TikTok? What? How is that? Mine says nine hours. I don't know why. Wait, yours has a daily oh, average? Oh, sorry. Five hours and 34 minutes. Yeah, I don't have a daily average. I have a weekly average. If you Mine just it, says, oh, for TikTok? Oh, daily average, Instagram is one minute, or one hour. One minute. Sorry, in Instagram, <laughs> is, Instagram is one hour. YouTube is probably my most. YouTube is an hour. Wait, what are we Wait, can on? We go, are we on the can week? we go through we, per app? Which one? Which yeah, one? let's do Show me your screen. You. Show me your screen. You, so, okay, let's, we, let's, let's go, let's go the through apps. The top, top, the top, top tab. Yeah, hold, okay. hold, hold, hold. Just go oh. to settings. Go to settings. <laughs> okay, we're at settings. Let's care. So people listening to this are like, yeah. this is... Settings? Cool. To start here, then go to screen time. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Now, see all activity. Yes. Now, under what's your most used app? Instagram. YouTube. TikTok. So TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Now tap on your top most used app. No, TikTok. but I feel like we we should say like the app. And oh, and then, how much your average yes. time is? Okay, so what's what was the top one here? TikTok. So my, like, let's just do TikTok. Then if you tap on TikTok. Yeah, we know. The daily average for me is forty-one minutes. Mine's one hour, one minute. <laughs> Five hours, 34 Damn minutes. Damn, yeah. Mine's one hour, 57 minutes. It's because sometimes if there's like a TikTok live on, I'll just have it on while I'm doing stuff. Okay. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> yeah. You're You're clock it in. I'm clocking in. Also, sometimes I'll fall asleep to something. Like if someone's roaming around downtown LA, I like the background noise. So I'll just. Dude, Instagram isn't even in my top five. Oh, wow. Mine, really? is, mine is most used. And my, mine says oh, no, it is, one hour, 55 for me. Mine's one hour. maps. Mine's 17 minutes. I'm on maps, maps so one hour minutes. a day from the last week. I'm you like, were in I London. don't ever go on Instagram, I feel like. I do an hour down Instagram. Facebook, 36 minutes a day I'm on Facebook. Mine is Facebook? six minutes. On Facebook? I don't even have the app. I don't have it on here, but I look at it a lot on my computer. Your daily average really? on Facebook is five even on, hours. Yeah. It shows all of them. I think like every app on your phone. Oh, show more. I didn't. Yeah. I also know that my TikTok daily average is definitely. It's not 41 day. It's definitely not 41 minutes per day. It'll usually be like on a Saturday. I'll watch TikTok for like an hour and a half and that will. Okay. My Facebook you know? says 47 seconds. <laughs> not, you're in and out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oops, I can't really look at it on your computer. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Um, I mean, it, my what, you guys on YouTube? You don't watch YouTube? It's not even. Mm, even not I have really my shopping phone. apps that are higher than. I, I don't oh. even see you. Mine is literally. <laughs> what do you do all day? Uh, work <laughs> i'm saying like it, when you're on your phone you don't watch youtube on your phone ever no, no. i'm on tiktok I'd rather, get to the point uh, oh wait, interesting let's go through okay so first your most used app yeah. yes okay mine is instagram mine is youtube mine's tiktok tiktok okay my second is tiktok my Instagram maps messages <laughs> messages oh. messages is three for me that doesn't make any sense to me but okay I'm on Chrome five hour or what is it oh yeah mine's Safari no that's the week that's total in the last week should we whoa you can also just tap at the top by day 
Is this that interesting for people listening? I think it is. Oh yeah, you can look at the day. What did everyone do on Sunday? What was your <laughs> What was your screen time on Sunday? Zero. Or wait. Oh. No, you have to tap on the top. No, you click on like the yeah yeah yeah. On the left side, it'll yeah, be the... Sunday. That bar graph. If you click that, it shows you Sunday. Hour and a half on YouTube on Sunday. No, but what was your total at screen time? <laughs> seven hours, Ooh. 54 minutes. Mine was seven, six. Seven hours. Six hours, three minutes. Sunday. We all have the Sunday scaries. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok, six hours, 57 minutes. I was on Venmo for six five hours. Six hours? Yes. <laughs> Carly, that's insane. <laughs> you are cranking it. I, Oh my god! That's, uh, you're, but I, I, I promise, I'm not like you're also scrolling making the TikToks whole day. Too. Oh, you do make yeah, TikToks. That's definitely what it is. I don't think. A hundred percent, Carly. You can't be. I don't sitting make there. that many. I'm not making TikToks she, for four she's hours. She's also posting like five minute TikToks. They're yeah. like. But while the app is open, you're writing your caption. You're sure, looking sure, at sure. comments. That's, that's a really long time. But I do a lot of times. We'll have like a live on and set it down and go do stuff. <laughs> that's like my main t that's like my main app that I use as TikTok for sure. 40 minutes on Zoom. And then Instagram on Sunday was 29 minutes. It's so terrible that now I've started like video gaming or like playing on my like PC like a computer game. <laughs> I'll be like so amazed that I've been off my oh, phone. Yeah, I know, I've been I know. off my phone for like two or three hours and, like, yeah. and I think on? I've accomplished something but I just went and looked at another screen. Yeah. Yeah, you're playing video games. But I'm like oh wow I was really off my phone. Yeah. <laughs> like I feel like that's I wish. That's how I feel when I read. Yeah. I wish Instagram also had a separate app for messages because that's what I'm doing on instagram is talking to people yeah but like oh. then yeah. you ha like when you go on that app there's just like they're trying to show you stories and posts and of course you're going to look for like a few minutes but the the messaging app like i have so many conversations in the app that i don't really? have with texts yeah it's like a form of like it's like another social oh, media i like avoid the message folder oh really oh, yeah Aaron instagram has, like sunday uh, scary yeah, messages i really no i Get huge anxiety about I think we talked about they reply to the story, but the story expired. But then this person's trying yeah. to come yeah. in. It DM. doesn't matter. Who cares? Dude, it's never organized and it's a mess. And I feel like I'm disappointing yeah. everybody in my Instagram. You're DMs. not disappointing anyone. It's okay. Yep. Going You're to therapy. <laughs> on the way. It's like when, I, when I posted the cat thing, Alicia was like, Oh, you should take the cat to this vet. And I'm like, Oh, thanks. That's great. Like, that's a new message. And now for I'm, me, there's like five other messages that come. Like, my uh, followers and like the people I'm following are like, all in the same what? it's a mess it's a mess because maybe if i happen? responded to one follower it'll well, get you, moved into you, primary you also to if, general, you ever, general. if you ever is... repost someone then it's there yeah, in your yeah, dms yeah. forever which is so annoying i the general them immediately. <laughs> yeah matt's matt's too deep in the weeds um it's you just... gotta do you gotta hire someone to clean that out yeah well, you have access. I'm an Instagram. I don't like, no, I get, when I see, when I'm on Matt's Instagram and I see the red, it says 99 in like red messages and then it's, I don't even want to look what's going on in there. It's too many. Yeah. Damn. Jeez. Oh, what was me? <laughs> what was me? Are there any influencers that you can't like stand, stand right now? Yeah, let's say their names and shout them out. <laughs> well, I don't know. Or like, trends, <laughs> or like trends that are, that you're just not vibing with or... I don't know anything. I don't the... really know what art is trendy. It's hard right now too. You and I, 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 I don't like this feeling, but you'll get so excited about this like creator, and then you, like, you'll follow them, and then you start seeing their stuff all the time, and then you like get second. I don't yes. like this. Are person. you talking about that comedian? <laughs> no, there's just I, I realize I'll have these moments where I'm like, this person's yes. so awesome. I'm so into this person. Follow. That happens to and me a lot too. And then they're they come up a lot. I'm like, this isn't what I wanted yeah. anymore. Yeah. That's I hate that. That I feel that way. I know, but but I love when you find someone and all their shit is just fucking awesome. Like Kyle Gordon. Oh, I love Kyle Gordon. Or just like someone who's really funny, and you're like, they make like the suits guy who made the one suits TikTok, and then they. I mean, I hope I see more. But when someone <laughs> nails something, well, and I then, watched the second one and I did not laugh. Yeah, the second one wasn't as good. Sequels are never as good. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> uh, I don't like politicians on social media. It is so annoying. Politicians in general never see any of that. Like on Twitter, when you go on Twitter, it's oh, just it's fucking like, yeah. Marjorie Taylor. Me. Really? No, mine's like Taylor Swift. God Lots of bless Taylor you. Swift updates. It's Marjorie Taylor Green talking about fucking Hunter Biden and <sighs> this is the fucking end of capitalism of and and my whole Twitter. Well, that's is, on you. I guess I thought it was all Twitter. 
No. No. That's if you, you open my Twitter, you would be like, oh, this well, is what it can see be what like. Your, let's see what, like, read your first five tweets that come up. Aaron and I always talk about this. The For You page Twitter is, is so funny. Iconic. It's, like, hilarious okay. now. All my, right, go to the top of Twitter. One, I love Twitter. I haven't been able to get into my Twitter <laughs> in oh, seven yeah. months. Laying in my bed with my dog after a stressful and draining day feels like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Then it's oh, an ad for <laughs> The Bachelorette. Then it's the article about Raquel returning her dog to a shelter. This is your top of Twitter? Then it's a huge weekend for her. Pop Crave. Barbheimer. This Ariana. Woman's, this woman's name, huge weekend for her. Barbheimer. <laughs> that, okay, this is the first tweet oh, that wait, I... My, fr my friend's last name is Heimer. I got, oh, Grant Heimer. I got to send this to all of can you uh, screenshot? Okay, I just did, I did. can you text it to me? My yeah. first tweet: RFK Jr. suggests doctors <laughs> doctors are inclined to become tyrannical and genocidal Nazis. Yeah, it's like catered to you. There are a few candidates who have repeatedly and clearly denounced Biden's recklessness in the Ukraine war. Cornell West, like it's just. Like, phew, excuse me. You. you need to let me and Carly scroll your Twitter for a little bit. Yeah. We'll, get that, we'll get that sorted out. Real then I get a jo quick. Like, Joe Volpus shows up on all my social media all the time. <laughs> yeah. He posts so fucking much. Well, I did get one political one, but it's funny. It's from a comedian that I really like. She goes, I can't stop thinking about the Coke found in the White House. It's exactly what this country needs. Yeah. So we're, like, stuff like, like that. I got I a tweet one time that was like about the Coke in the White House, and it was like, you either want Sleepy Joe oh, or, yeah. or him doing coke, but you can't have both. Yeah. Like, so pick one. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Like this one, the summer I turned pretty is relatable. If you were flirtily thrown into pools by boys as a teen, and frankly, that is the corner of the sky I will never know. Like, it's just like stuff that I like. Yeah. Yeah, no, Paramore. that's cool. Are the yeah. kids in the summer I turned pretty, are they rich kids? Um, because the, there's fit. houses and shit that they're in looks pretty nice. It's like their summer house, so those kids like have money. Well, yeah. yeah, they're like they're wealthy. Looks it looks pretty nice. Looks like like every movie. Or, like, do you do you feel like you guys had a summer where you turned pretty? This I summer, think it's a great no, name. I, I think it's a great, great name for asking that question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was like the summer that think, he realized that she wasn't like a kid anymore. Who's he? The guy. The guy. And then, yeah. It's like a guy she's had a crush on forever. They've been family friends like since they were born. Their moms were best friends. And then she's always had a crush on the older brother, but he's always viewed her as like a kid. And then he finally was like, oh. Isn't that kissing booth? Kind of? No, I don't know. I never uh, saw that. I don't um, remember. I, I just, I think that's a nice title though. The Summer I Turned Pretty. Yeah. Did you have a summer where you felt like you turned pretty, Mike? <laughs> No, <laughs> I know. I feel like yeah, you know. no. I do I fantasize. Like I, sorry, I think I got your... handsome in college. <laughs> what are your threads feeds like? Threads? I don't know. I... Like, do we think threads will stick around? I don't know. They gotta fix it. It's so bad. Yeah. Like the the app itself just like looks like it's half baked. I kind of wish like the the likes like to like and do stuff was on the right side yeah, it's of the so screen because I've always like I'm like. <laughs> like my yeah. whole feed right now is people that it's like add and i wish you could just tap beast. you could tap this the tweet and then that would like it rather than i have to aim for that tiny little heart it's not because well it's like instagram i just would be cool just to go like through and just tap. Like, bup, 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 it's not well designed at all also when you look at a photo it's instinctual to double tap and zoom in it doesn't work on threads oh interesting it's just not well baked. It's not. It's half baked. Half baked. Well baked. Half baked. You know what I mean. You sound like your brother. Yeah, I thought the same thing. What? Yeah. Rinsed. Well baked. <laughs> Rinsed. You guys always say shit like that. Bricked. I'm bricked up. What's a f okay? We talked about this in the Claudia episode, but like maybe it's changed. First app you open. In the morning. The yeah. Ooh. I would probably say Instagram. probably messages. Messages, yeah. What, what besides mess messages? Oh, oh, oh. Text messages. Yeah, besides What's messages. messages? <laughs> uh. Well, I didn't know if you meant like Facebook messages. Oh, definitely IG. Yeah. Mostly because I want to see if I got any messages. Yeah, and oh. if it's someone who I replies. like, and if it's someone who I really like, I'll respond to them. Like, hopefully, it's like a friend or you hmm. or I'll someone. I'll be testing that tonight. Then. Yeah, Mine no, like, send me a meme. I love waking my day, waking up, and I have a text from a friend who I think has a good sense of humor, and they're sending me funny. Can I'm you, like, can you send Woo. us memes? Yeah. <laughs> You guys memes? I can yeah. start doing it. I don't know if you guys would find my my taste funny. Let's try it out. <laughs> I feel like you send me things like that. I well, the thing is, I'll like have TikToks. moments where I'm like, okay, this is something me and Carly would find yeah, funny. You have different friends who find different. It's things like when you funny. send TikToks to people, you kind of curate 
yeah. like what you think they're gonna think is funny. Yeah. That's what I always wonder. Cause I feel like some people send TikToks because they think it's funny or they send TikToks because they think it's funny but they also know that the other person will think it's funny. You know what I'm saying? I also yes. think that when you find a funny TikTok, sometimes it is funny in the context of whatever you were watching before and after. Like the fact that you maybe you're watching like makeup tutorials and then like something political and then a funny one comes up. You're like, oh my God, this just blew me away. Ooh. And then if you just get it in a message, like I'm expecting this to be funny. So therefore it's not as funny because I'm like, oh, this is probably going to be something I should laugh at. I, I, see, I see what you mean. There's no like, like context. It's just yeah, like, and, like you and, then, see it. and you don't realize something's about to be funny when you're scrolling an hour or five hours into it. You're like, oh, this. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know what? you're right. You're kind of right. Yeah. right. Sometimes I don't. My friends will send me a funny TikTok, but I never am like, ha, 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 ha. But like, if you were to like, come across it on your own, I but do. if I came yeah. in on my own, the rush you get is you're like, this is hilarious. Yeah, like, yeah so you're, you discovering it feels it's part of it. It's also sometimes tough because I feel like <laughs> p people who, like, we probably have similar feeds majority yeah. of the time and they like overlap. So a lot of the times when Carly sends me stuff, like I've already seen it. I also think and then it's, just... does it make you like sad? I'm like, ugh, I wish it was like something fun like I hadn't seen yet. I think it's just hilarious. Not sad. Our, I'm just our, like because oh. I feel like it's like a silent bond. <laughs> it is. You know what I, I mean? Because yeah. I'm like, oh, I like that she sent this to me, but then it's like, fuck, I already saw it. But I, I think TikTok does that too. Where if you it's like Carly will send me a TikTok, but and I don't open her message, and then I'm scrolling through, they'll just serve me the TikTok that she sent, sent me, it to you. and then I'll look in her thing, and I was like, oh, this was oh, in my oh. feed. Yeah. So I think they'll they'll just push shit that people send you into your feed. What I normally do now is I will look at my mess i always try to look at my Start, messages first yeah. oh yeah because we sometimes will yeah I overlap mean, yeah what were you gonna say i think it's just god bless our grandparents who like <laughs> they would just read like the sunday funnies and cut, <laughs> 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 and cut out like oh well, that this is going on the fridge <laughs> this is hilarious oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> sunday funnies and the humor will last scissors. forever yeah. Yeah. This, oh uh, this is garfield hilarious. is up to his old tricks <laughs> putting that on the fridge and oh it just joke, made me laugh and that joke will be funny for so long yeah. but on social media it's like funny for a week and then it's over yeah. and then it's like okay they were fucking scrapbooking their memes just like uh. it's also do you think social media has improved everyone's humor yeah I, just, I, I feel like it has younger sure. generations I think yes. especially and I yes. think the fact that everyone is creating they can everything's gonna get better because like they know what it takes to make something and therefore the quality of like, oh, this sucks. You put no effort into this. Everyone realizes when there's been no effort put in. So me, the best content has more effort put into it. Mm -hmm. uh, really? I think so. To me, the funniest stuff is like people quote tweeting stuff on tw like Twitter is so funny to me. And I'm always just like people are so funny without like intentionally being funny. Yeah. On Twitter, that's a specific type of humor, but I'm saying yeah. like con like on TikTok, for example. Oh, yeah. But God, when you find a good, like someone posts something and then their response yeah. to it and it's just like, <laughs> fire. The comments so, on TikTok, like I crack up. Yeah, oh, TikTok comments. When it when TikTok first came out. Too. It's just like, uh, yeah. er, in a way, they're so funny, it scares me. Yes, that's yeah. why I don't want to post anything because then someone's just going to be like, up, oh, what's this? Yeah. It's, so, it's such playgar playground, like, yeah. everyone's huddled up and the person yeah. just makes fun of you <laughs> in the worst way and everyone's like, ooh, yeah. it's that you never, energy. You like, know where the comments are going to no. like, We're about to be like, okay, is it going to be funny or mean or both? I yeah. know. And, and it'll be like, what happened to his bones and you're like what are wrong with my bones and everyone like eighteen thousand likes because it's just exactly uh, what everyone was thinking brutal. my favorite is when everyone's in on a joke if that makes sense oh like, yeah what was the one about, like i think we talked about it once but it was something about tampons it was like do it was a tiktok about like do men not know that we have to like suck the blood off the tampon to oh, get the yeah. nutrients back and like all the comments are like how the hell are these men like 25 and not know this? Yeah. Like it's right, very, right. Yes. very serious. And they, this is like a running joke. I, I, I get yeah. such a kick out of people who are like trolls who will come in and come up with a fake story related <laughs> to the content. Like for instance, there was like a, a cringe compilation of like a Minecraft convention and like there was like a Q and A where like these Minecraft fans were going up to the creators of Minecraft, and there was this one guy oh. you could tell was very like on 
probably the spectrum, very awkward. He's like asking for money for them to invest in his video game and if they can be <laughs> best friends. And they're like, sure, man, you are a best friend. And everyone's like, ooh, second guy, super cringe. And the uh, next comment goes, yeah, but he actually ended up going to become one of the founders of Fortnite. <gasps> Wild, huge story. Crazy you didn't know that. And like, oh, and it's, it's like just fake. not true. <laughs> yeah, but they'll yeah. like just come in and be like, yeah, actually the true story behind this. Yeah. And like, wow. I keep just... seeing tweets like that now too that are fake, but yes. I don't realize it. It was the first one I saw. Oh, it was when we were at your house and um, for Adam's music video, and I saw a tweet, and it looked very real. It looked like a news site or whatever tweeted it, and it was like the Cruel Summer music video is dropping tonight at midnight, and all the replies were like, "Holy shit!" Like so excited, and I said it out loud, and. Sally Dar and Patricia were like, oh my God, are you serious? And I kept looking and I was like, wait, no, it's fake. Oh, <laughs> but the shit. way it's portrayed, it's like real. Yeah. And some people respond, they're in on it too. Because yeah. people just think it's funny. That's the For You page Twitter is a little, little fucky like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. But I love it overall. Yeah. Do so you think social media has truly, is truly rotting our brains? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all... 100p. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and all, honestly, I'm embracing it. It's the smartest people that right went to the best schools figuring out <laughs> how to keep you in the apps for as it's long as possible. Our and brains. that shit is working. It's yeah. rotting our brains, but it's almost like kind of like this amazing golden age of it. It's like smoking in the 50s, yeah, 40s yes. and 50s. That's it's probably it's a really so good just comparison. Like, it's yeah. fucking awesome, but we don't know. We're kind of aware that this isn't the best thing for us. But it's just a beautiful day and age mm -hmm. to yeah, be in it'll... the middle of it. Because I'm worried about it, like, just becoming so tailored to what we want. And then it, like, ruins the fun of it. I saw I a really sad video. It's a compilation of, like, babies. And it's, like, babies who are, while they're sleeping, going like this. No. That's me. Stop. That's yeah. me sleeping on TikTok. And like, and, like, kids who are crying. And they're just, like, they're, like, tapping their hand, looking at their hand to try and stop crying. Because they're just iPad babies. Huh. So it's, like... Definitely fucking terrible, especially for young <laughs> developing minds. But that's a good way to put it. It's the goal. Everyone nope. was smoking back in the 50s. Yeah. You're pregnant. You got to smoke to keep the baby healthy. Like, yeah. yeah, sure. Give your baby an iPad. Not a problem. So something yeah, will it, change. Not, at least it's not giving them lung cancer. And it's probably doing something worse. They're fucking their whole brain up. God, it would be cool, though. If, like, I wish smoking wasn't bad for you, though. I also, wish... it's been like so terrible for society in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah. It's been good and bad though, so it's like yeah. yeah. I feel like there's so much good and so much bad. Do you, yeah. I think we're gonna be like a little less annoying than like boomers are online. Totally right. I think I, I think our generation is like really set well in it because like we were raised without it, but now we have it. <laughs> yeah. And we're not like iPad kids by any means, and we also didn't just learn how to use it like a boomer. But people who are younger than us. But they're, they're going to be doing weird shit that we're going to be boomers about. I'm still yeah. cracking up about the grandparents. <laughs> I know. Out the funnies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my the first, like, I guess meme. I don't know if it'd be a meme, but it's like definitely the humor that is now. I found maybe in college and it was a website and I don't know why I was on it. It was before I was doing medical stuff and it was like memes about nursing and they were so funny it'd be like me after a 12 hour shift blah 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 and it'd be like this like gif of someone like yeah. i don't know that and that I was like so funny at the time memes and i'm not even a nurse there's like some dude on facebook who he's like nurse something but he does these relatable nurse memes yeah. but i love it because like, like now it's like okay we get it it's like yeah. a formulated meme that like yeah. it's whatever but at the time it was i had never seen anything like that and i thought it was so funny yeah so i'm like this is so dramatic and just mm -hmm. the way night it's shift it is nurses funny. be like this yes, and then, like, yes. day shift nurses yes. yeah that advice dog i think that was the first meme advice template. dog yeah it's i think it started on 4chan it was like the idea of a meme it was a dog and it had like advice it had like text on a photo of oh. a funny photo of a dog and that was the first meme and then wow. that turned into like advice animals. Thank God they switched up the font though. Remember, it just had to be that big white <laughs> font. Yeah, yeah. And yep. It was just like ugh. advice dog. That it was like a subreddit called advice animals. And then mm -hmm. they it started with the advice dog. Then there was like the penguins. You guys remember this stuff like cringy penguins? It was like oh nine two thousand nine Reddit was like that's where memes started, and now they're fucking. The, it's like the form of communication. Fucking presidents posting memes. Yeah. I do God. What Donald Trump on social media is one of the How most do you follow him. I, I don't follow him, oh. but I will see his like truth socials or when he was tweeting. <laughs> he's just so goddamn funny. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I know he's <Yeah>. camp. 
<laughs> I like put that on thread. I was like, Donald Trump is camp. So it's like, like, not in a good way. It's just crazy like, that like world leaders are, or like a fucking dictator is on Twitter talking shit. Like you are a <laughs> fucking dictator. I know. Yeah. It's that just is so weird. weird or, like seeing people at war on Instagram live. It's people just in like, jail on Instagram live. It's just so weird. Yeah. Like, crazy. I feel like if we're at a point where I can watch live war on someone's phone, we shouldn't be at war. Like it feels like mm -hmm. a weird thing to see. Like this is how I load up my <laughs> gun in Afghanistan, and it's like, dude, this is weird. Like yeah. it doesn't. It's like a weird. I don't know. I always think about that if like TikTok was around during 9/11 and stuff. How crazy those videos would be. I said, Carly, and just... I'm just saying what I, I think about. I've been I know. thinking about this for years. I, think I, I talked know. about it. We yeah. probably have, but it's just, or anything like that, that happened in history. God. Yeah, like people's like doing- Like the Titanic. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, it's just like people be like doing video memes about 9-11, like us before the buildings, us Stop. after the buildings. Like, do you think people would be 100%. doing that? hundred yeah, percent. They do it now. Yeah. yeah. I know, but yeah. Damn. Isn't it weird? <laughs> like, I always feel like I've seen all the 9-11 footage, uh, but- Today I saw a clip that I had never seen before, and it, a lot of the comments are like, "Why is it there's always some new clip that comes out oh, that yeah. we're just now seeing for the first time?" It was someone coming. It was like someone who was yeah. in the first oh. tower filming all the people running out of or whatever which one was hit first. Uh -huh. They were filming all those people walking out, but you're in one of the towers watching all the people run out. But I had never seen that clip before, and everyone those in the clips comments are so was like, "Harrowing." Yeah, like. Yeah, people hiding out and all the smoke passing by them and stuff. So mm -hmm. scary. But yeah, if social media's around that would be so, so different. Do you guys watch YouTube shorts ever? Probably not. <laughs> no, no, it's so fucking annoying because when you open YouTube, it's all just shorts now. Oh, really? I haven't gotten that. I, I will go into the shorts and sometimes I like it more than TikTok. Really? Really? Yeah, because it's... It's it's short parts of YouTube videos, so it'll be like. <laughs> but I bet we've seen everything uploaded on. No, it's it. not stuff that's on TikTok. It's like, I don't know, t like cut like a one minute condensed version of a TED talk, or but it's like AI made. No, no, no. It's like a. It'll be like a clip from a Bobby Lee podcast that I'm sure is on TikTok, but because it YouTube knows my algorithm of what kind of videos I like, it'll also show me like a Veritasium or like science stuff, and there's no. There, there's no one on YouTube Shorts being hey, Michael like... Michael Vsauce here. <laughs> what is Ligma? Go on. Sorry. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Ligma balls. It's just Vsauce. like, I don't Ligma know, because, because my yeah. YouTube algorithm is so dialed in that the Shorts algorithm is like, you're not get, I'm not going to get some girl dancing or like makeup on my YouTube Shorts. It's only shit yeah. that I want to see. Yeah. And it also, I do, just to know what they're thinking. I'll like like a Jordan Peterson video or like a Ben Shapiro video. It's like my one place on the internet where I kind of like keep an eye on what the like the crazies are, are up to and what they're thinking and how they're. You like it so you can go back to it. So I can like my algorithm thinks I'm yes. like right wing adjacent. Oh, I just swing back and forth. Just both so I can like because I don't want to ruin yeah. my actual like things that I enjoy like TikTok. I don't like if I see anything close that's like politically terrible on Instagram or TikTok. I'm like not interested. But YouTube Shorts is like, I don't really care if my algorithm there gets kind of fucked up. So I'm just like, what is Ben Shapiro saying now? And I'm like, yeah, he's still a fucking idiot. So it's nice to just like have that. Shorts as like a bonus. I, I love know. watching. I, don't know if my, I, I love watching short. political media that's against my my I beliefs. Just, it's just, I'm like, these people are just fucking idiots. Um, they make me so No, mad. it makes you angry, but I know, but I just like... I like, like hearing what saying. the opposing side a little bit more because I want to be like... You're so there dumb. to make the judgment. Yes, but I need to make an opinion for myself. Yeah. But I just think you got it. Just at least hear yeah. what's being said. No, that, I'm the same way. Like, That's why I want to watch like I'm pandemic so... and stuff. Because I'm just yeah. like, what are they watching? Yes, I watched. Um, what's the one where uh died suddenly? It's like this conspiracy documentary about all these people who've died from the vaccine. Like oh, all these people God. who are suddenly dying. And it's, oh yeah, all it's four so, of us. <laughs> yeah, all four of us. It's so baseless. And like they use names of people that are not dead. I don't know, it's just crazy. Oh wow. I, like, uh, I was just thinking, someone sent in an email asking like our thoughts on Target, like taking away like pride stuff and how they uh, put in like trans friendly swimwear in the clothing sections. And they were like asking us about that. And then I was like, I hadn't even heard of this. 
so this was like a few days ago i went oh. and i was like watching what people were saying and i was just getting so, so mad mad because i'm yeah. like you guys are so fucking dumb it's the same the, people who are like drag queens are putting it on our yeah, children no, it's like yeah. no drag queen is doing that that's not like, the point not though the point. all that right wing rage it's called rage bait it's it is it's yeah, made of course. to yes. attract it's made 100%, to 100 yeah. percent. but that's why it's infuriating because i'm like there's really no issue like but you're creating a no issue so that people will be mad no child is going to target and saying pride stuff and saying oh i'll be gay now like that's not how it works it's just yeah. to include everybody well, and, and that they put in the like uh i forget what the bathing suit is called but it's basically so like they can hide their genitals which is like but it's shouldn't, like, yeah yeah and it's like in the women's section and it's like who's that affecting if they put like a male swim trunk in the women's section i would literally oh, not I have even a meltdown bat my uh, eyes. where's the manager you yeah. know what i mean like it's just like who it's just who cares the, uh, the, okay not to be so political but the far right is literally all yeah. fear based yes. which is funny because yes. they say that we are yeah but we're just living our lives like yeah. being normal yeah, and accepting so of people of every, and like every wanting week everyone there's a new, the the Immigrants are coming to kill you. I feel like they're getting more offended about things. They like, are. Than they're the yeah, calling I mean, us like, oh, you guys are so easily offended. It's projection. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And it's so funny. Like, I saw a TikTok, and it's like something my mom would say. It was a TikTok, and it was like, it was a girl, and she says, "When you live in Chicago, and somebody asks like if you're safe there, and she's like, what are you talking about? Because yeah. my mom says something about New York. She's like, oh, it's so dangerous. I'm like, what? It's unbelievable. Like, New York, what? of course, everywhere is dangerous at points. Yeah. LA is dangerous. But I feel like also the older generation thinks that like big yes. cities are being targeted and dangerous. And I'm yeah, like, what are you talking about? You're just like, like instilling I wanna fear. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I want to go to China. I just, I'm curious. I want to go see Shanghai. And then yeah. like, I was like told recently by, you know, like a boomer. It was like, I've heard it's very sad there well You're have not, you been like, there i'm like yes you've never been there don't tell me no, like, but, but i saw it on fox news but that, just dismissing yeah. that going yeah. to china is just not a good idea like yeah. piss off no i know yeah. going yeah. people are so annoying i said that one well, I, we were going to like mexico and like truthfully there was like a lot of like violence within the cartel like happening and like my mom was like just be careful like there's a lot of stuff and i was like we live in a fucking america like there are mass <laughs> yeah. shootings every day yeah. yeah like what do you want me to do that yeah. i wouldn't do every yeah. other day living here yeah yeah <laughs> we should do a politics episode <laughs> no why I feel like we dribble it in in every episode i yeah. know and it pisses people off so i want to just do a whole do people really not like our political views some it's surprisingly I mean, some gonna... people are like they're great until they talk about politics and i'm like yeah. who are these sorry who are these people watching this <laughs> well that are <laughs> i don't know but if if people have differing opinions like by all means i don't think you should not listen to or watch this podcast no no totally but, but I, I can break bread with anybody though you uh, i can break bread with anybody break bread yes i've never heard of that like meaning break like bread? you can still like find peace like oh, oh, even oh, if someone i have different <laughs> political views like i'm not gonna well like, i think like politics and human issues like are yeah, so intertwined which, now like, dude, where i'm like that you're too fucking far. It depends, the, like, nazis, how far. the nazis were a political party yeah so you can't like if you're, you're gonna using, break bread with them if yeah. you're using no the, yeah. no if you use but the I have to still but i still by, by being strong and still like putting your differences aside i think speaks better to like your sense yeah, of but by showing them that you can still be human as well like, yeah, but if their if their belief system if they are literally saying strip away women's rights, you're saying they're like here's your pasta dinner. <laughs> no, no, uh, I don't mean like. But that's that. like where my it's problem. just like I can maintain a bit of civility by like yeah, you I'm be, still you not be... going to be like I have to just walk away. Like I can't be around this like. Person. Oh, I, I mean, just if... would personally choose. I was like I. You if are you're, not if you're at a bar and someone is like, yeah, man, the Jews and women are really the fucking problem in this country. And <laughs> I only want a president that is going to make sure that the Jews get put in their place. And if women want to get a bo- these people listen to our are they <laughs> no, but no, but you're, no, no, but the point is, is that there are I'm people talking- that use that and they say, well, that's just my political opinion. Oh. And it's like, no, that's a human yeah. rights issue. And like, yeah. valid, valid. That is not take it back. Where I draw the line. Well, no, you don't have to, but that's no, just like, I'm what not I'm saying, saying you have like, to take it back. I'm, we're just putting, like, you're, I know what you're saying. Someone claims, oh, I'm a Republican. That is like an all encompassing statement sure. that could mean full blown Nazi or just like, <laughs> I, I, I want to pay less in taxes. Totally. And that's the political yeah. party yes. I agree with. Like, yeah. there's extremes to both. And same thing with the left. I don't believe that the government should exist, anarchy, yeah. and like, you know, whatever. I think if it's like true politics, 
I'll break bread, sure, whatever. Yeah. I don't give a shit. But, but when politics, it like, but leans politics into become... like basic human rights right. and like you have very terrible <laughs> takes on them, like that's for me. I'm like, that's not you being political. That's like who you are as a person. Yes. And my values do not align with yours. And I don't want to have someone like that in my life. And yeah. it's such also like a cop out to be like, well, it's just political. We just yes. agree, disagree politically. Like, it's no, like, you're just no. about human. <laughs> Yeah. You just think some people shouldn't exist because you don't believe that. But it's such they a deserve. good trick, though, yeah. to be like, "Well, it's it's just a political opinion, That's or it's just, just the law." Yeah. When yeah. People, oh, nothing makes me more mad than that. When they make like human issues political issues when they are truly fundamentally not. It's. I mean, it works. It's always worked. That's yeah. why people do it. But it's like so infuriating because I'm like, oh, no, like it literally isn't. But you're too stupid to understand that because you can just like get away with it. You want it. to start a politics channel? <laughs> <laughs> the nose spins out. <laughs> Mike and Eric. I don't know. I think human rights can be debatable. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, so yes. All right. That was with that. We'll see you next time. For men time. only. <laughs> For men, yes. For men, human rights are debatable. For women, they're not. All right. Well, we'll see you next time, everyone. We'll see you <laughs> see Toodles, you next guys. Time this political Bye. Episode.